On Sunday concluded in Venezuela, the fourth day of registration of candidates representing the different parties that will dispute the presidency in the July 28th elections. With the details, our correspondent Gladys Quesada. Yes, Luis, thanks for the time and the contact hearing from the South and for Salazar English and all of all audience. In this case, today is the fourth day of the registry of each one of the nominees in the National Electoral Council of Venezuela. This is one of the steps in the process ahead of the July 28th presidential elections. As we have been saying, every single one of the political forces, the parties and the political organizations must come in here and submit their documentation, their legal requirements, and also to provide evidence of of their nomination and they have to also prove they don't have a justice and open case against them so in this case this is the fourth day of the process and today was the turn for some of the opposition parties to present the registration of their candidates or the nominees in this case the first one was Alejandro Bertucci Javier Alejandro Bertucci, that is the candidate for Esperanza por el Cambio, which is an opposition organization here in the nation. And he has been present in other elections, in the prior elections, the prior presidential polls of 2018. He was present there and he uh, was the, f the third in the race for the top post of the nation. He also proposed unity in the political landscape. He also said that he wants to improve the health services, the economy, and wants to uh, stress that there has to be a pacific way, a peace path for the solutions of the issues of the country. Let's recall that Bertucci is also one of the um, candidates that has also a strong base of Christians and uh, religious leaders and religious bases in the country. Also, there was Benjamin Rauseo, who was a comedian. He's well known as El Conde Huacharo. He is one of the uh, characters, the uh, very well known in the, in the cultural sphere here in the country, as he is an actor, and he used to be a comedian, as I was saying, but today he proposed his candidacy and he submitted his documents to be a presidential candidate for the country. He is an independent runner with the Conde political force and he was also saying that he is not uh, in favor of the smear campaigns during this time and he is not in favor of violence or exerting extortions against the other candidates as part of the political competition and the presidential race here in Venezuela. He also called for the youngsters to go and vote and for the people to not leave a blank vote or an invalid ballot in the July 28th elections. He was calling for people to go and vote massively and also to participate and to take part in the process to do and to exercise the right to vote and the democratic duty as citizens of Venezuela. Also today were present Claudio Fermín Maldonado, the candidate of Soluciones por Venezuela. He's running for this party and he was also calling for improvements in the health and education sectors and he was saying that he does not believe in those extremists uh, who are calling for violence and calling for division and calling for terrorism in the country. Also Jose Alejandro Ratti, he is a Christian evangelical candidate for a political force, El Partido Derecha Democrática Popular. He presents uh, other options and he was um, also saying that he does not believe in confrontations or hostilities and that those are not the solutions for Venezuela's problems. And he was even saying that whoever that gets to the top post, whoever that results as the winner of the presidential elections, must call for all the political forces and find solutions and find common ways to to go ahead and move on with the country, not to give a place to those who are calling for confrontations and divisions. Also, he was referring that those who called against the referendum for the Essequibo region have no right and have no place to be in the presidential race as they were against other democratic processes in the country and against the Venezuelan people will. So other uh, um, organizations that came here today and were uh, registering President Nicolás Maduro Moros as their candidate were the Tupamaro organization, which is a leftist, socialist, communist 
uh, organization here in Venezuela, and also um, the movement for the electoral power of the people, the MEP, MEP, which is an organization that also guarantees and ensures the social movements and the social rights of the people in Venezuela. Both of them were calling for Nicolás Maduro Moros to be the candidate ahead of these elections. Those were the parties, the political forces, and the organizations that came here today to the National Electoral Council. And it is expected that tomorrow will be a long day for this process because tomorrow is the last day, is the fifth day for the registry of the candidates. And in this occasion, it is also expected that some parties could arrive even until midnight on Tuesday. So tomorrow will be another long day here in the National Electoral Council and we will be here covering everything that goes on and happens in this step of the electoral process and the electoral schedule in Venezuela. So that's the information, Luis. Back to you. Thank you, Gladys.